Hi, hello YouTube. This is the Shadow 20. I'm approaching my Sky Farm. It used to be a uh, spawning location for you know mobs and auto kill them and get all sorts of goodies. But due to the uh, 8 1.8.1 patch or whatever somewhere in there, the uh, animals didn't spawn anymore. So I turned it into a big farm. Uh, I got a little office in here that's got my, you know, workroom and storage, and my cart to come in. Now, right now, I just got carts coming in here right occasionally, as I'm trying to bring another animal in here. Um, I've got this set up here from. Uh, this was designed by is it M, M C Carl. Um, I made a video response to the redstone problem that it had after the 1.0 patch. Uh, currently, I'm going to use that for my sheep. Uh, once I get some more sheep to bring in here. I had like three, but due to the problem, I was trying to fix it, and I somehow suffocated two of them. So, that's where I'm at on that one. Over here... Oops, sorry. Over here, I am trying to, or have built, a setup for my cows. Um, I see you got a couple babies out there. I've got a couple cows in here milling like crazy. And um, I'm using a lot of water setup to try to herd them into where I want to be. Um, I plan on having a lot of cows. Because, um, well... Who doesn't want a whole big supply of, you know, pork, or I mean, not pork, but beef. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about pigs yet. I haven't bothered to get pork chops, but I like my beef. So, I kind of modified his, uh, his generic bees, um, uh, open range, free range, animal breeding farm a little bit. I opened it up so I can add a whole lot more up on the top side. And because I'm on a private server, sometimes they glitch and do that bouncy thing. But uh, come down here. And this is an exact copy of his deal. Now I'm saving both Mama and Papa, um, sending them back top side. But it exact copy from what he had. Looks pretty good. Now, the way I got that working, back up here. Yeah, that's not working right. I can flip this lever, turn on a whole bunch of water. This should flush these guys out of here. And they are glitching bad here. And then if I want to push them further on, I can kick that on. That'll push them further that direction. But right now it's just holding them back. I got a lever here which activates the water back there, which is already on from the other switch. And I've got two switches here. Both levers should be down at the same time. One lever will send water that direction to the push them back and this lever will bring the water so it brings them keeps them from going back there and the reason why that is is if I want to breed if I've got all my animals in the back pasture in the back row um, I don't want the new animals mixing with what I've already got so I, I did this so that way I could send everything back there, but then after everything's back there, I could keep the one lever down to keep the animals back there, and then the, then this then this lever's down to keep the new and the babies and everything that's been done up here until I'm done breeding everything. Um, it's it's a work in progress. I'm still still trying to get that done, but. As you can see, I've already bred. I've already got a couple of babies. I'll wait for them to get done for all. Do it again. Oh, before I go in there, 
Um, this farm is literally at the very tip of the top of the map. The, the top row around here, the wall, is as high as I can build because I'm up as high as I can. So I made a big firewall. Over here, I got a big wheat farm, you know, since wheat is going to be needed for breeding. And it is actually ready to harvest. Big old wheat farm. And I got water back here. Pistons will, when I kick the lever up front, the pistons will drop and wash everything down that direction. Over here, I've got a little cactus farm that I'll show you where the output of that is later. I've also got trying to utilize everything in this place up here. I've also got more wheat over here um, sitting above there. So I'm sitting above my current wheat farm. So I'm kind of just playing around. I have a lot of wheat. And then over here I put a big pasture in the sky. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this up here. Um, it was, you know, I wasn't doing anything with it. So I figured, oh, what the heck. So I I put it up here, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So I haven't haven't thought that far ahead yet. Um, oop! I left this on. As you can see, it pushes all the push them all down here, right here. And I turn this off so that way they're not. And when I flip this switch, it opens the trap door so that way they'll go down to the breeding section. Um, I don't want to send you down just yet, do I? Nope, see, it opens the door. So, yeah, maybe still there. So, that's that. Been working on it. It's quite a bit of work in progress here. Over here, so, okay, I showed you the wheat farm, I showed you the cows, I showed you where I'm going to have my sheep production. I showed you the cactus farm. Cactus all just plops out right here. Pretty, pretty slick. Um, sugar cane, push the button. Harvest the sugar cane. Occasionally, for some other reason, they get trapped back here, and I ain't quite figured out how to solve that problem. And then I have figured out that I could run the water on the sugar cane, but then they get stuck here and here. Um, it's not a big deal for this one, but my other sugar cane farm, it's a big deal. Over here, I you see the redstone behind my pistons there. Over here, I got a melon farm. And over here, once I find my pumpkins. I'm going to plant pumpkins over here. Not a lot, but a few. And in here, I have the dreaded chickens. I hate chickens, but I have them. Now, I had to put fence all the way around the room. For some odd reason, they would walk up against the wall and suffocate themselves and die. I don't know why that is. Here, we'll just Wait, that's a well, sugar cane. I'm trying to breed them with sugar cane. Let's put them on with wheat. There we go. Make some babies, would ya? Are they cooking you yet? Cooking you yet? Uh, I haven't figured out an automatic breeding system for chickens yet, and I don't know if I want to. I really don't like chickens. But anyway. Utilizing all the space underneath my, um, okay, I have had it with those cows. I'm trying to utilize all the space underneath my uh, wheat farm, um, and I think I've done a pretty good job at that. So, but I got my cows, and that's my my old sky farm at the moment. Um. Just to show you. Oh, infinite. Somewhere right here. Where do I go? My infinite cobblestone generator. Yeah, 
it's not working, you step on that plate, step off of it, and it should reset the timer. There it goes. Yep. So, I, if I need more cobblestone, I can just stand here and harvest that. This is going to be gone later, but I need it for bringing more. Well, when I find out a sheep. That's that breeding room. Down here was part of the, the old system where you would, uh, you can see we're still quite a bit high in the air. That's how I brought the, the uh, grass up to the top. Oh, is that chicken still alive back here? Well, I'll be darn, he's still alive. Good for him, he's flapping his little heads off. Yeah, everything would come down the, try to back up through the water here, everything would come down the center shaft, die on the, um, here, the water would push it off, the chickens would stay living and stay here and flap and poop their eggs out, but it doesn't seem to work anymore. They don't spawn, but the chicken seems to be alive still. And then here's just a quick access to get down to the ground, but there's a creeper down there. I'll get there from him. If you have any questions, comments on this little setup facility, I'd like to hear from you. Um, I'm just kind of copied this setup but modified the top setup of uh, generic bees. I'll go ahead and I'll link um, in the description to his video of him building, uh, him running that. And uh, MC Carl's, you know, build of the, uh, the rail cart system back over there. But uh, that's what I'm doing. If you got any suggestions, even I'll, I'll I'll listen to those too. So yeah, that's my little sky farm at the moment. <laughs>